This is Chippy from CarryPad with the Galaxy Tab. In this video, I'm going to talk about videos. Uh, video performance on the Galaxy Tab is said to be 1080p. So what I've done is I've uh, transferred a whole set of files, different form, uh, different codecs, different file sizes, uh, different uh, resolutions, different bit rates, etc., etc. So I want to uh, show you some of that. Uh, Samsung have their own video app, um, which some of you will recognize from Samsung uh, smartphones. Um, you can choose to view uh, videos that are made by the camera itself or videos in folders or all of them as well. And it um, automatically detects files wherever they are on the, on the, on the device and uh, adds them in here. So let's start with something uh, fairly simple and obviously the simplest is something that's created by the, the device itself. This is uh, so this is Jimmy with the uh, Galaxy Tab. Um, the other day I did a video of the Tab with uh, my finger. Let's just pause that there. Um, that's one one video with the three megapixel camera. It's a four three uh, ratio, and here you can see some of the uh, the features of the the player. We can stretch to fit the screen, full screen, or go back to standard. Uh, we've got direct access to brightness settings on here, so that, that's really handy. Uh, volume, and we've also got a 5.1 channel um, simulated surround sound effect. Um, down here, you can access um, the um, fast forward, sorry, the well, position selector, and it's very quick to find position on the device. Play and uh, go to next file as well. Here's another one created by the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Right, let's uh, go back and show you some videos that, I've create, that were created with other devices. Um, for example, a very basic video uh, created from my old Nokia smartphone. <laughs> it's 3GP, it's very basic quality, but just to let you know that that is working. Um, and then we can move forward to something a little bit better. Let's uh, take it up a notch now. And I want to show you uh, this file is an H.264 file. And uh, interestingly, the audio is not working on this file. So I've had a look into a lot of the details of the files uh, on here. And it does seem to be the ones that are not working in terms of audio are ones that have multi-channel uh, multi-channel soundtracks for example let me find you another one this is a 1080p video true 1080p video um, with a multi-channel uh, soundtrack h264 uh, format so obviously the playback is working and to be honest it's actually quite stunning this um, 1024 by 600 screen really really pops it's fantastic but of course no audio so what I've done Ooh, one other feature I just want to show you there's a nice little mosaic search feature which which scans through the um, scans through the uh, video to show you yeah a little mosaic of the positions along the file line along the timeline which is kind of easy to jump to right let's um, take another file this is an h264 file that is um, <laughs> 1280 by 600 or 700 I'm not quite sure of the um, exact resolution here uh, but this is um, a two channel two channel AAC soundtrack so obviously h264 with two channel soundtracks are working um, right now here's one that's um, 1080p plus um, the audio is working and this is a trailer and this is uh, 1920 1920 by 800 if I go to the original format the speak oh let me start that again it resumes where you left off it remembers each file how far you watched it and it resumes from where you last last stopped so the audio quality on the speakers here you won't be able to hear it on this but it's very very good and really makes it quite a pleasure to watch really I'm seeing no tearing no weird effects no stuttering no frame loss uh, sorry for the bouncy screen I've got it on a car car mount here 
so let's uh, do some other form formats. So some people were asking about Xvid. This is about four megabits a second of um, Xvid, and the sizing. No, it's three megabits. Sizing is, is think something like 720 by 480. It's not very high, but um, the quality quality actually is, is, is okay. So you can hear the uh, the volume there is, is pretty good as well. How about uh, DivX? Of course, this is a DivX certified device. So I have a DivX file here that works. It's only about three megabits a second. So DivX is working. What about Windows Media Video? Uh, we have a Windows Media video file here. Now, once again, multiple channel audio is not working. This is a 720p Windows Media Video 9 format file with a two channel WMA audio. Uh, bit rate, I think, is around 6 to 7 megabits per second. Difficult to see because this is a rendered video. This is a rendered video, so it's difficult to see exactly how smooth uh, things are. Um, the frame rate is probably not um, th 20 or 30 frames per second on the original, to be honest, on that one. Um, but here's one that doesn't work. It's Windows Media Video 720p with a 5.1 channel soundtrack, and that's not working. Uh, another example I've got... Whoops. Let me have a look. Another example here... This is a 720p again, um, H.264 file with a two channels uh, soundtrack, and it's not working. And it's not actually giving me any error messages either. Okay, here we go. Focus, speed. That one's not working. In fact, that file is actually uh, locking up the device. Okay, that was um, a trailer that I downloaded, H.264, so obviously something in that is not working. Um, here's something interesting. This is a MKV container with H.264 and MP3 audio. By the way, um, there are settings in um, in settings here to adjust contrast, brightness, and um, saturation. Uh, so you can adjust the colors on this as well, which is pretty nice. It's not fixed. Um, here's another. I believe this is a DivX file. So one more thing, so, uh, of course, YouTube. Let's uh, show you some uh, HQ videos through the built-in player. Hi, I'm Marcus. I work for Sun Ericsson. We just announced a new product called LiveView. I want one of these. It's a micro display that allows your Android <laughs> application. I definitely want one of those LiveView things. Um, this is going over Wi-Fi, by the way. That's taking too long for this video. Um, let's try this one. That's taking too long. Anyway, uh, YouTube is working very well and HQ quality. No HD, no 720p, no 1080p. Right, that's about it. Standard player, uh, video player on the Samsung Galaxy Tab. This is Chippy from carrypad.com. Check out carrypad.com. We've got loads more videos and we're doing a full review of the Galaxy tabs, so check it out there. Thanks for watching.